What's cooking, good looking? Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own 3D printed shoe. Let's go. Make sure to grab the files in the link in the description. The template is provided by Zellafil. All right, we can cook this in any kitchen, but my kitchen of choice is blender, of course. All right, here's a low poly lass. Let's go into edit mode and make sure you're in face select mode and we can shift up all the faces around the ankle sphere. You can come over here and click on circle select and shift select all the top faces, X and delete the faces. Let's go to the modifiers tab, the little blue wrench, add a modifier and a subdivision surface. Two, two and apply. Then let's add another modifier, a shrink wrap modifier and change to outside. Target the last, the high poly last and change the offset to 0 0.5 and apply. Add a solidify modifier and change it to eight meters and a positive one and add even thickness, apply. Looking good. All right, let's go into edit mode and take care of the bottom of the shoe. Go into negative Z and you can shift all these edge faces over here to like the faces. And over here, we're gonna have to use circle select Okay, now we need to go to the data tab, the green triangle, and make a vertex group. Click the plus to create a vertex group. Let's name it thread. And assign. Let's go back to object mode. Now let's go back to the modifiers and add one more subdivision surface so we can round out the collar and get it ready for sculpting. For this one, it's gonna be four, four, apply. Nice and smooth, looking like a shoe already. All right, let's spice it up and take it to the sculpting tab. Click on Y so we can see the side and click on clay strips. Let's sculpt in a sole. But as you can see, this is pretty small. So let's make it a bit thicker. Hold down F and move your mouse to make the radius bigger. Nice. Now we have a nice thick sole. Click on negative Y so you can see the other side. Okay, very important. I didn't show this, but in brush settings, make sure you're in front faces only. Now let's go to draw sharp and let's draw some shapes on the sole. Just some squares, triangles and circles. Bam, we got a spicy meatball. All right, let's go back into object mode. Let's deal with the thread down here. Let's go into the modifiers, add a displacement modifier, add new, change the coordinate to object, and vertex group, we're gonna add the group that we added earlier, thread group. Now for the object, we're gonna shift A and add an empty cube. Go back to the modifier tab and an object let's add the empty we just added head over to the texture tab at the bottom the checkered flag one 
and and type let's change the type from image or movie to wood now you can click on the empty object and scale it down until you see these nice wavy patterns nice and you got a shoe let's apply that displacement and there you go let's get it ready for the printer let's export it to stl file export stl and save it wherever you know it'll be and there you go you have your first 3d printed shoe let's make sure it's in selection only before you export all these files as one name it whatever you want and you got yourself a shoe Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe so next time I can show you how to make these perforated. Yeah! Yeah!